Hey, this is Sasha and welcome to another episode here on Backstage Income where I share with you how to build and grow a profitable business. Today's episode, I'm gonna share with you the back end of how we go about scheduling our social media posts and how we can do it way in advance and uh, just streamline the process. So let me get to it and I'll share with you some insights behind the scenes. All right, so there's a few tools that you kind of need to be able to handle this and do this. Uh, we use Airtable, which I'll share with you the link below at the bottom of this video. Um, here is Airtable. It's really kind of like, uh, think of it like uh, Excel, but with way, way more power. So we kind of set up uh, tables uh, that, you know, here's our caption, here's kind of a character count, so that way we create a formula so we know how long the post is in case we're posting to Twitter. The link, the photo, uh, social media and is it scheduled so we have a couple different social media channels traders fly backstage income um, and here's kind of the date and time we want to schedule it and that's kind of unique so that's why we made it as a primary field now what we do when we do these kinds of things and I'll show you we run from um, our content manager so let's say we go ahead and we need to schedule something for backstage income and what I can do is go to my full grid list. So here's all our items and uh, things ready to go out. So let's say I want to go ahead and schedule a post. Here is the link that I want. So I just start copying some data. So I'll go ahead and go to the backstage income section or really I start with a post planner. So I'll go here. Then I'll copy and paste uh, the thumbnail. I'll go back, paste the thumbnail, and I'll write something, and I'll decide when I want to schedule it. So let's say I want to schedule it over here on uh, the 20th, September 20th, which is, uh, you know, it, it's a date uh, that I've just decided to do because right now I'm pre-filming this video. So let's say, hey, here are uh, some cool um, uh, design videos and I made it all caps so it's easy to see so I went ahead and I got this all written out and now I'll go ahead and copy it and decide where I want to go and I'm waiting for that because I don't want to paste it in right away or work on it in this active area because once I put it in this active area it's gonna send it over to my buffer or a scheduler so I go ahead and just kind of paste it in right now all at once um, and now it kind of uh, sends the signal to Buffer and Buffer checks um, or Zapier. Zapier checks the um, if there's anything new every 15 minutes. Now I'm going to go ahead and force that right here and I'll hit run in just one second. But what we want to do is look for September 20th. You can see there's nothing there scheduled. But what I'm going to do is um, go ahead and force that in there. So I'm going to go ahead hit run and you'll see looking for new records triggering one new record and then it'll boom add it to schedule successful so now what you should see is coming in right here and you'll see in just one second it'll go to facebook and it'll go to uh, the uh, to the uh, um, uh, twitter as well um, all from this uh, buffer and the way that uh, this buffer works is that you're taking Airtable, whatever's something new, it adds it to the schedule in the Twitter, and then it adds it to the schedule on um, uh, on the Facebook as well. So you can see it, it does this, adds the caption, the link, and we're just automating the process. So now what you can do is I can go ahead, hit refresh, so you can see here's 506, and let's see here, it should be 5161. So if we go ahead and take a look at, uh, let's see, pop-up blocked, always allow so again let's check it out on the monthly here and what you can see is right here here is the one that we did here are some cool design videos and it converted that link and there is my uh, thumbnail and that's what makes scheduling this a breeze and fast because we go ahead and do a lot of work in Airtable and because we do a lot of work uh, if we can do a lot of our post planning here or just all we need to do is change the dates uh, go ahead and adjust a few captions and I can literally just copy and paste this whole thing and it would just send it off into uh, the next queue. So that's really the way we go ahead and do the scheduling. Once we post it in there, it checks for things and um, then it's pretty much kind of good to go and good to run. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete that post uh, just because uh, you know it's not one that um, I wanted to do. 
But as an example, that's how we go about scheduling a lot of our posts, a lot of our videos um, on social media. And uh, you know, we can just copy it in batches for the next couple days, next couple weeks. Sometimes we'll do quotes for the next four or five months uh, in advance um, or just different postings four or five months in advance and we just do it through Airtable and Zapier just zaps on over uh, all our different stuff. So I hope you found this video helpful. Um, you know, and if you like these kinds of tools, check out Airtable. It's absolutely free. You can uh, use it to go ahead and do a lot of other great things. There's going to be a link in the description there and creates a win-win relationship. If you sign up with the link, I get a little bit of credit and you, I believe, also get a bit of credit in case you buy a, a plan. Uh, Zapier, I don't believe there's any affiliates or anything like that, but it's just a great tool that you can go ahead and uh, you know sign up to that automates a lot of processes. And Buffer is just what we use to send out the queue. Whatever's in the schedule, it sends it out. Um, I've tried in the past to kind of go from, um, you can say Airtable directly in to kind of either uh, Facebook, or directly into uh, Twitter, uh, but that's much more complicated just because of the scheduling and that kind of stuff. So it made it more difficult. So instead we went ahead and put this kind of uh, in-between spot uh, with uh, buffer. So here we have uh, Airtable, and then we have this go in-between buffer, and then that kind of shoots it off to uh, Facebook and uh, also into Twitter. So that's how we go ahead and do a lot of social media. It's just a lot easier copying and pasting pictures rather than you know uh, trying to find them in your files. So if we need to pull something out and find something in social media, we can go ahead and just, hey, where is the one? Are there any about email marketing? So I can see and it highlights me anything about email. So if I want to reschedule those, hey, let's go ahead and copy and paste some of those pictures put them in into the post planner and uh, schedule them out. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you found this video helpful and insightful to maybe ramping up your social media postings and uh, making it more efficient. And if you did, then go ahead, subscribe to me on the YouTube channel, or of course, join me on my newsletter list. There's also a lot of great freebies and goodies on our, um, on our website. So if you go check out our website at backstageincome.com, uh, you can see there's a lot of free stuff. So that's why you want to get on the newsletter list. We give a lot of these kinds of uh, things away and uh, feel free to just visit the website and download them absolutely free on PDF. So you can sign up right over here and uh, then get all the good stuff as well as some of the other books that we have coming out and courses, classes, and all the other good stuff. Thanks for joining me. In the end, remember, do what you love, contribute to other people, but most importantly, live life abundantly. I'll see you next time.